Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Our theme today is this, tame the monster. Tame that beastly, monstrous, powerful troublemaker. You say, well, Kevin, what are you talking about? Right here, your tongue, your words. I'm gonna read three verses. They overlap from Proverbs 17 into Proverbs chapter 18. And I want you just to listen to these verses and see the warning about the things we say. The call to be careful and quiet at times. The warning to beware of the trouble we can get in with the things that we say. First, from Proverbs chapter 17, verse 28. Even a fool is thought wise if they keep silent, and discerning if they hold their tongues. The Lord will look at you and think you're brilliant and discerning and wise if you'll just do this one thing. Shut up. Guard your mouth. Second thing comes in chapter 18, verses 6 and 7. The lips of fools bring them strife, and their mouths invite a beating. That's pretty severe language. Verse 7. The mouths of fools are their undoing, and their lips are a snare to their very lives. First, the warning, keep your mouth closed and you'll be perceived as a wise person. Even if you maybe aren't that wise, just being quiet, people are going to think, well, that, guy, that guy's got something going on inside. That woman's really got a lot of wisdom. But then this warning that your lips can bring you strife if you speak foolish things, that your mouth can invite a beating, that, that you can create your own undoing through the things that you say, that your lips can be a snare to your very life. And so this, pas this passage calls us to, first of all, be careful what we say. Sometimes the best thing to say is nothing. But when you do speak, be careful of the repercussions. I've learned through my life that it's much easier to say something off the cuff, something thoughtless that brings damage to others and damages, damages myself than it is to speak words that are uplifting and building. Words that slight people, words that insult people, words that are gossip filled, words that are judgmental, I mean, that's easy. Being quiet is hard. And you know what's the toughest of all? Slowing down, being quiet for a moment, and then speaking words of life, and of truth, and of grace, and of blessing. We all have a little pink monster right there in our mouths. Guard your tongue, watch what you say. And when you're not sure what to say, be quiet. And when you have the courage to do it, speak blessing to every person in your life. And if you're about to say something that could blow up another person or blow up the situation or blow up your own life, don't do it because you'll pay the price. You'll reap what you sow. You'll live with the repercussions. You know that's true and so do I because we've all been there. So here's our prayer. Lord Jesus, help us tame the monster of our tongue. Help us learn the wisdom of silence. Help us have courage to speak words of blessing. And Lord, help us guard our mouths and not speak words that cut and tear down others or that damage our own lives. Guide our words, Lord Jesus, in a way that would honor you. We pray this in your name. Amen. Well, God's blessings on you. Have a great day. Be careful of what you say and what you speak. If you're part of a local church, jump in this coming weekend. Attend your church online. Attend your church in person. Be part of the body of Christ. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we meet at 9 and 11 on Sunday mornings. We'd love to have you join us. God bless you and have a great day.